Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose's Year of One. If this is your first time to my channel, then thank you very much for clicking on this video. My Year of One is a quantity controlled low buy that I am undertaking in the year of 2021. I will link up my intro video if you haven't seen it, if you want to know more about that. But as well as trying to quantity control the amount of stuff that is coming in, I'm also trying to get stuff out of my life this year through both decluttering and using and my project pan is part of that ethos. If you're a fan of content that is less about consuming and buying new and more about being mindful about what we're bringing in and trying to get use out of what we own then please do consider subscribing to my channel and if you like project pan content then definitely please consider subscribing to my channel. After I film this I'm going to film the intro to my 12 pans of Christmas project for this year um, I'm actually a daily. I was planning to do this yesterday, so it is September 26th today. Um, so I'm going to film the intro today and then updates in October, November, and the finale on, in theory, Christmas Day is the plan. So um, there will be 12 pans of Christmas project pan videos coming for you soon. This project obviously runs until the end of the year. And my friend Lauren and I are going to do a joint project pan in preparation for our well, Disney World trip, which we have booked tentatively for next year. Fingers crossed all goes ahead. There will be lots of Project Pan content on the channel, so do consider subscribing if you are a fan of that. Before we get into the video, I do also just want to disclaim, I am currently, finally, after having talked about it for forever, um, doing this room up. So there is the paint swatch on the wall behind me. It's not a piece of random modern art, it's not a statement, it is just me testing the colour that I am going to paint the whole wall. All of that said, let's get into the project pan update number three. First thing to talk about is my eyeshadow from my Modern Renaissance palette. Warm top that we're working on in this project and still no pan. That's this, this shade here. However, every time I use this, I think surely today is the day that we hit pan. Like, I don't feel like my camera really picks up the dip, but the dip is there. Like, it is so close to the bottom and I've obviously, I have panned this shade completely and I've got pan in both of these shades. So looking at how kind of deep I am into those shades before I've hit pan, I feel like we are not far off it with this. I really thought I would have got it by this update but it's not happened but I am saying here and now that by the next update there will be pan in this like every time that I use it I think it's got to come today and it just keeps eluding me so I thought we need to do this update this is what it's telling me is film this update have one more update with no pan and then by the next update we will have pan I am manifesting it into the world that it's going to happen so this is going to be I'm so determined this is going to be the last update video with no pan in this eyeshadow next next update there will be pan the other eyeshadow that is in my project pan is in the morphe making bank palette so mine is in the black packaging and um, because I got this as a gift from my friend Lauren last year and since then I think they took it away and then re-released it in the green packaging um, so I will link it down below but it is the same even though it looks a little bit different inside is the same um, and it is this shade C note that I'm working on in this project as you can see no pan however there is a dip I don't know I've never hit pan on a Morphe shadow so I've got no concept of how near that dip is to the bottom but there is a definite dip in the shade so I'm very excited about that. I kind of feel if I get my pan in the AB8 shadow by the next update then I can just start concentrating on this one. I'm a little bit worried because I feel like the AB8 shadows I think are 0.7 grams each and the shadows in this I think are 1.4 grams so this is literally double the AB8 one and I've not hit pan in that yet and that was I used it before I put it in this year's project when it's this was pretty new and unused when I put it in the project so we're kind of going from nil on this one. I'm not I'm not sure now at this point if I'm definitely going to manage to hit pan within the project but 
I'm hoping once I get the ABH pan, which is going to happen by the next update, has to happen, I will not have the two shadows to be moving between um, and I will be able to concentrate a little bit more on this one. So I don't know if it's doable, but I am still hopeful for pans in both palettes by the end of the project. So we shall see, but there is a nice dip going on. So I'm happy with that. Let's move on to quite an exciting one for me and it is the Dim Light Powder from my Hourglass Ambient Lighting palette. If you can see, you probably can from far away. Uh, it's quite a grey day outside but I feel like the camera actually is making it look a lot brighter than it is. It's probably overcompensating for the Scottish weather, so is what it is. Um, I'll show you better in the cutaways but we have pan. We have hit pan in dim light. I'm so excited about that. My experience, as you can see, having panned these two shades is that once you hit pan in these, they go quite quickly. I feel like it's taken me ages to hit pan with both of these two when I panned them but once I got there it then moved fairly quickly so I am definitely hopeful that I will finish this powder entirely by the end of the project. Maybe not quite the next update but yeah definitely by the end of the project and I think maybe by like maybe not October's update but maybe November's update I feel like I will finish this powder. And moving on from the powder to the blush in this palette which is also in my project I will show you in the cutaways if you guys remember from the last update this had broken so I had bits still on the pan and bits that I put into a little container and what I found between that update and this one was I cleaned out the pan so I will show you cutaways that shows like I definitely kept using it in the pan and tried to kind of clean it out but because there was like a bit stuck at one corner and a bit stuck at the other it was a little bit difficult to use that way so I ended up repressing it so this is now what it looks like so it's not been the most visually satisfying journey panning this blush because of the way it had kind of broken and whatever but now that we've repressed it I'm hoping going forward it might be a little bit more obvious in terms of showing the use on this blush um, I'm still enjoying it, it's super pigmented. I'd forgotten how pigmented it was to be honest I think when I decided to add it into this project. So I don't think I'm going to finish it within the project but I would like to just get some more use out of it. The end goal obviously is to pan this entire palette through more than one project obviously. Um, so these two went last year, this one I think will be gone by the end of this year made a good dent in this one this year and yes there may be a, a product from this in my Walt Disney World project pan so stay tuned for that. Going on to my other blush which has been more visually satisfying to watch this is my Tarte blush in Party and we have expanded the pan so if you remember there was no pan at the start of the year then we got like one baby pan then two baby pans <laughs> And for update number three we have joined those baby pans together and we have a kind of proper traditional pan. Um, there's still plenty of product around the sides and as I say I think every single time they're still like embossing showing it in the product at the sides so I don't think it's even anywhere near needing repressed yet. I'm still getting it like I wore it today and I'm still picking up plenty on the brush etc. So yeah, it might get repressed before the end of the project, I don't know, but I am just really enjoying watching this pan grow, so that is this update, I'm very pleased with it, still enjoying it, um, and I probably, I don't foresee me finishing this within the project, especially given I have two blushes um, in the project at this point, more use the better and I feel like I'll finish it maybe in another project at some point, so I'm pleased with this. Another quite exciting update is that we have a product leaving the project altogether because it is finished. I weighed this in the intro, first update, second update and I have had quite a gap between the second update and now and I said I think in the last update that I was thinking it would be cut open by this update which obviously it was. As usual once I cut it open there was so much product left so if you're not cutting your products open like cut them open because this went on I think the best part of two months after I'd actually cut it open but it is now finished completely emptied. I'm going to put it in my September empties which is going to be a really good 
robust empties by the way just as a heads up September empties is going to be banging so watch out for that I am really pleased with it my inventory is going to dip right down um, and that is that is what we're aiming for is to end the year with less so really excited for my September empties to come off my inventory um, and this will be part of that. Following on from the fairly exciting updates to less than exciting products to update you on, the first of which is my highlight. I have used this consistently but it looks exactly the same at this point as it did when I introduced it into the project. Basically the only highlight I've used this year, I've been, I've had this and I've had a Becca one that's a bit more gold toned. You know, I feel like I've really not even got the use out of most of my highlight collection this year because I've been trying to get a pan on this and it's just not happening. I feel like this might be similar to the Everglass ones in that it might be just it's such a big pan that it takes ages to hit pan in it but then maybe it goes quite quickly once you actually hit pan or something. I don't, I don't really know. I definitely thought I would have had pan by now but it's not coming and I don't even see like a dip forming. I don't even see like the possibility of a pan at this point. It just, yeah, I'll keep it in. I'll keep using it. We will see if we get somewhere by the end of the year with it. But for now, it just looks exactly the same despite the fact that I do consistently use it. And then something else that looks exactly the same that I have absolutely no right to complain about looking the same because I consistently don't use it is this lip liner. Just, I kind of keep forgetting this is in the project if I'm honest. It's so small it sort of just rolls to the side of the box and I don't even see it. Absolutely nobody to blame but myself for the fact that this basically hasn't moved. But hopefully though, to talk about my next product, which is this lipstick, once this is gone I might get a bit more use out of the lip liner, hopefully. Also it's going into festive season so you know, We'll be wearing red lips a bit more hopefully. We're still wearing masks here in Scotland so not really getting the use out of my lip products that I maybe would have in more of a normal year. A bit disappointing with the lip liner and it's maybe a case of like you're only going to make sort of progress on one lipstick at a time when we are wearing masks most of the time. But the progress I have made on this lipstick I'm very pleased with. And that progress is that I have completely flattened it out. That it's still product and I know from following other people's project pans and people online and things that even once you've flattened a lipstick out there is so much product like in this kind of set bit. I know we're not done yet but we have flattened it out and I'm now kind of at that point where I'm working into that product that's down there so we shall see. I am hopeful to definitely finish this within the year so I'm going to be really really pleased about that. I mean even as it is this is I think the most I've ever used of a single lipstick so I'm absolutely thrilled to even be at this point but I'm just yeah planning to finish it within the year and that's just going to be so satisfying for me so I am really really pleased with that update. The not so satisfying lipstick update is this one is the Tarte Lip Paint in Birthday Suit. I consistently use this every so often I think oh it's about to go like I feel like it gets thinner and then it just it's like it regenerates in the tube and it picks up again um, and the really frustrating thing is like it's not there's no visual progress it's not I thought maybe it would come off the sides and stuff that's not happened um, so yeah I will not be putting another li liquid lipstick in a project pan I don't think in the future because it's just not exciting to watch I promise I am using this there's no visual change and as I say sometimes I feel like it's getting close to the end and I'm like oh we'll probably take the stopper out and then it just seems to to fully pick back up. I really like the colour so I'm not fussed about the fact that it sort of isn't finishing but it would have just been nice to get a little bit of you know something something at the side to show that it was getting used which isn't happening so this was a bad choice of product to put in the project but yeah I've still got more use out of it this year from having it in the project than I would have done if I had not put it in the project. So no regrets from the product use point of view, just 
not the most exciting to watch I'm afraid. The last two products are my two lip glosses so not much change on the Stila one this is the shade Kitten but I do think I'll probably finish that by the next update but the reason there's not been much change in that is because I have been concentrating on this one which I think there is a massive difference on but I don't really know if the camera is going to pick it up but it's definitely like I can see in real life this is so scraped through at the sides it's not at the point where I'm going to take the stopper out or anything it's getting towards that point it's not quite there yet but it's getting towards that point and I think I will have an empty lip gloss tube by the end of the year so that will be four lip glosses if I do if I empty the steel one which I expect to do by the next update and this one by the end of the year that will be four lip glosses that I have finished through this project which I will be very pleased about. So that is everything for this update. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. As I say, if you like Project Pan content, please do consider subscribing because I am about to launch another two Project Pans. So there's going to be a lot more Project Pan content coming your way. Yeah, thank you very much for watching this one and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye.